Hey everyone, welcome to Infosec Train. So we have something called as a trusted execution environment. So this is something that is a bit different from the previous two things. When you say the word trusted execution, what would you mean by that team? So it's when talking about HSM, it's a separate device. When talking about TPM, it's a separate chip. But if you go for a TEE or trusted execution environment, it's a part of your microprocessor itself. Nowadays, it's basically part of your microprocessor itself. That means that it's actually encrypted. It's actually having, it's a separate isolated area inside your same Microsoft microprocessor chipset. So I'll give an example. Now, normally what happens to the team, we have a three states for a data. We have a data at rest. We have a data in transit. We have a data in use. So we have proper encryption mechanisms for all these things like for data at rest or data in transit. We have much more effective encryption mechanisms. But what about data in use? That means that let's say we have an application which want to process a data in your storage device. So basically what happens even if this data is encrypted, if the application want to process the data, what we will do, we have to first of all load this data into the memory, right? So in the memory and CPU, what we do is that we will first of all decrypt the data. So attackers, what they do is that attackers will use this particular gap, this gap where we decrypt it for processing and they will be able to use it for uh, many means. They can easily compromise it like they can use memory dumping attacks, uh, side channel attacks. They can use multiple kinds of attack like this to compromise the data inside the memory while it is in the decrypted state. So to avoid that tampering while the data is processing what we use a trusted execution environment. And this is the baseline technology or the core concept of what we call it as confidential computing. Okay. So what do you mean by this? Let's assume that we take a data for processing from our storage device. So the data is stored in our memory and from the memory to the CPU. So inside the CPU, there is a secure enclave. There is a secure isolated private area in the both the memory and CPU, we have it completely secure that it is only accessible to the authorized applications. That means that if there is any other cloud consumers or if there is any kind of other applications or other services or anything, try to access those data, it will be denied. Only those authorized applications will be able to access the data inside that particular trusted execution environment. That is a key main, main key advantage when you're going for a TE. And nowadays, almost every modern devices are having this TE capability. So it's it's not a separate hardware chip or separate technology. It's basically integrated as a part of the microprocessor. So what we have it actually, as we discussed before, it's actually having a separate chip inside the microprocessor itself. And that's a unit inside the microprocessor itself. That means that whenever an application want to process some data, which has come highly confidential, this particular application who is only authorized to access the data will be able to do access it. For every other kind of applications or services or users or anything, they will be denied access to that secure environment. So as it is completely secure while working or while in use, this is a key technology which can help us to protect the data in use while it is getting processed. So this is the high level information about these three things team. So I'll just give you a whole idea once again. First of all, we have a TPM. It's a hardware chip, which is basically integrated as a part of your motherboard, which we plug into your motherboard. And basically it's clear to protect that particular single computer or a single device and the applications which we open inside that and when you go for hsm it's a hardware device mostly where we have a pca express cards or maybe it's a physical device a physical separate device and what we have is that we can store multiple key files for encryption and all these things inside the hsm device and first point is that hsm is never used for storing data it's used for storing key files and if you want to get the FIPS compliance, etc., for your organization, it's very important to have a HSM device. And finally, we have something called as a TE or trusted execution environment, where it's a part of your microprocessor itself. So basically what happens, it's a part of your microprocessor, but completely isolated. That means that those data which is getting processed inside that particular TE or trusted execution environment will be only be accessed by the application which is completely authorized for accessing it. For every other parties, it will remain completely invisible or inaccessible. So if you have more doubts on this video team, you can comment below and we will answer your queries. Thank you so much team. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.